Hello everyone, welcome back to Radiology Med Easy, your all-time favorite YouTube channel. Let's see today's case. So, this is the image of today's case. First, go through it and come to your own diagnosis. Then, we will continue with the case discussion. Hello, welcome back everyone. This is case number 6 in GIT contrast study. Today our patient is a 66 year old patient who is a known HIV patient presented with odinophagia for 2 months duration. He had progressive symptoms. So this is these are lateral and oblique uh, spot images of barium solo series. So actually this image shows the mid esophagus so there are a few abnormalities in the spot images so you can see some linear filling defects here here also some linear filling defects you can see here and also here so there are filling defects apart from those there are outpouchings of contrast from the into the lumen you can see those outpouchings small small outpouchings are there multiple outpouchings small so those are small ulcers small ulcers there and also filling defects filling defects also there they are due to plaque or the projections from the wall so those projections are plaques actually so due to these small ulcers and plaques it has a shaggy outline shaggy outline is there so there are no obvious obstructions smooth passage of contrast you can see no dilatations in the esophagus no leakage of contrast to the outside and uh, no abnormal fistula tracts visualized bones also normal so in this case our diagnosis is candid esophagitis candid esophagitis candid esophagitis there are plaques there are linear plaques as well as small ulcers differential diagnosis uh, since this HIV patient HIV esophagitis and uh, cytomegalo esophagitis So HIV esophagitis, cytomegal esophagitis, herpes, herpes esophagitis. So in cytomegalo and HIV esophagitis, there are large ulcer formation. In herpes esophagitis and candid esophagitis, there are formation of small ulcers. Apart from these ulcers, in candid esophagitis, there are formation of plaques. So those are uh, linear plaques in glycogen acanthosis in elderly patient glycogen acanthosis there are formation of rounded plaques rounded filling defects however there are no ulcers in glycogen acanthosis but there are formation of rounded plaques but in candida esophagitis there are linear plaques so this Candidly esophagitis is a fungal infection and the patient will have odinophagia. They are common in diabetes patients and immunocompromised patients. So that concludes uh, case number 6 in GIT contrast study. So please subscribe our YouTube channel. Then you will get notifications of our new videos and also you can comment on our videos. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this.